In this video, we're going to dive more into one of the research databases that is going to be very helpful for your English 101 controversial issue research argument essay. And that database is Opposing Viewpoints in Context. Opposing Viewpoints in Context um, gives a list of different current events or debatable topics and provides various sources that are connected to that topic. And there's a couple of different ways that you can engage in this site. The first thing you can do is you can use the search bar to try to find your topic if you already know what your topic is. And the second way is that you can browse issues if you're still not sure what you want to write about. This might be a place where you come and think about, well, what are some hot topics or some um, debatable current events that I might be interested in taking a look at. For our purposes, we are writing about gun control, and so we're going to go ahead and navigate to the gun control page, and we're going to do that by using the search bar. You'll notice the first thing that's going to come up is a little bit of background information about the topic. Um, this is designed to help you kind of have some context before you begin researching and looking at the different kinds of opinions and statistics um, that exist within the database. So I encourage uh, you to take a look at the overview, um, which will just give you, again, a little bit of history and a little bit of context. It'll give you some main points or main opinions that people have about the topic. And again, this is very useful in terms of just getting you started, providing some general background information it might be the kind of background info that you ultimately include in your uh, introduction. Um, but let's return and look at some of the other sources or resources that are available to you. Um, this page is organized with a menu at the top, and the menu will help you navigate to certain kinds of sources more quickly. Academic journals refer to those more scholarly sources. They're usually written at a more complex level, both in terms of structure and vocabulary. Um, so it helps to have a little bit of background information about your topic before jumping into the scholarly journals. Still very helpful. Um, infographics that help you that uh, use visuals to represent data that is connected to your topic. News sources. I'm going to skip viewpoints for a moment. Magazines. Um, perhaps some videos, statistics, um, and external websites that are reputable. Um, so they've already been uh, examined for their reputability. They passed the crap test. Viewpoints are opinion pieces. Um, these are excellent pieces to use if you can find an opinion that supports your own. Or you may also use this as a way to structure your counterclaim. So if you think about um, our particular uh, practice essay is on the topic of gun control. And we're arguing that gun control is needed. Well, if I take a look and scroll just through some of these articles, I'm not finding something that would that really jumps out at me that would fit into the research question that I have or the topics that I need. Right? I'm not really talking about arming teachers. I'm not really talking about um, the regulation of women's clothing. Um, so I'm kind of hitting a brick wall here, and this is this is not giving me the kind of information that I want. Before I leave this page, though, I'm going to go ahead and click on statistics. Okay, and here, this gives me some useful information that I might use in my essay, looking at firearm background checks conducted in the United States year by year. So if I'm trying to make the argument that we don't have enough background checks when it comes to gun ownership, you know, I have to see if I'm actually correct when I make that, uh, they make that claim. So I can go ahead and open this and see if this piece of data um, holds, upholds what I'm trying to say. So there's that. If we think back to our outline, one of the first topics that we decided to write about in our model essay is the topic of mass shootings, that guns are dangerous because they create mass violence. And we talked about the Pulse nightclub, and we also talked about Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High. Um, perhaps I wasn't able to come up with those examples. Maybe I didn't know them. But I know that mass shootings exist. So I can type that into the search bar and see what comes up. Okay, and this is getting us a little bit closer with the history of mass shootings. 
um, mental health and mass shootings. Let's see if we can dig into here a little bit more. Find some more viewpoints. And here we go. This is exactly what we're looking for, right? So if we're looking for information about the Parkland shooting um, and then trying to connect it to um, a lack of gun control, here's the article that's probably going to be useful for us, right? So we're going to go ahead and read through that. A couple of different features I want to just point out to you before we close out the video. Um, this site has a feature where it will read the text aloud to you. Um, it's not the greatest uh, voice, but it is useful if you're having a hard time just concentrating or even just comprehending some of the, the content that's in here. Um, there are also some tools here that will allow you to save the article either directly to your Google Drive, if you're using Google Drive. Of course, at Gateway, we prefer that you use your OneDrive, so you can also save it directly to your OneDrive, email it to yourself, download it, or of course, print it. Let's say that we find some information in this article and we decide that we ultimately want to use it. There are also some tools up here that are going to help us be able to keep track of our citations. And one of those is the cite feature. So if I click on that citation feature, it will actually give me my end, uh, my work cited, like my end of text citation in the correct form. So then I don't have to worry so much about going back and making sure that I have the absolute correct um, format and I can do a number of things. I can export this bibliography entry to a OneDrive document to my Google Drive if I'm using EasyBib or um, some other kind of uh, works cited generator. Uh, we can link to those sites as well. Um, and this is just a useful way to keep track of your citations as you're going along and finding information that might be useful to your um, to your research. Um, I would I would encourage you to play around with some of the tools up here. So there's a way to, to highlight and take notes. Um, if you're like me, you prefer to print things and write directly on them. But, you know, of course, whatever works for you. Um, but I just wanted to encourage you to take a look at this particular database. Uh, so I think that a lot of the information here and the tools here will be very useful for you in the English 101 research argument essay. That's it for now.